a, a, a whim-like lark, or, or was it a no. real uh, investigation into the, um, how one does that? Or well, I, it certainly. I mean, people probably in many ways probably assume I have a capricious nature because I do try a lot of different things. You know, I'm always looking for the next opportunity to try something that's challenging, that mm -hmm. might work, whatever. I like throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks. Right. Um, that uh, maybe sounds a little too glib. It was a long process to even think about that. Um, you know, Erica and I had been talking about possibly running in 2012 or whatever, just kind of you know, keep the activism going for a while and then maybe see what I could do from within the system. Um, but, you know, I made some friends with some folks who were independents and, you know, they were like, well, you know, we think we need to try to start changing things now. And then it kind of, you know, more and more made sense as we were talking about it at home that uh, 2012 is a big year, yeah, but I probably need to cut my teeth now. And maybe this is a good year. It's a midterm year. It's a watershed year in a lot of ways. Maybe being an independent, as I was, uh, that, that would actually pay off, you know, possibly. You uh -huh. know? Um, it's not that I had pixie dust, real, you know, unrealistic notions that I was going to, you know, sweep the board or anything like that. I mean, right. obviously, there's partisan power, there's money, and things like that. I, I, Nobody really know who I knew who I was, you know. So that was clearly then. If I was going to be that way in 2012, I may as well start it in 10. Try to build that kind of base and that understanding as well. Try to figure out how do you do that with an eye toward you know trying to run uh, and be much more of a contender later on. But you know, I, I was very pleased with how it all worked out. I mean, I didn't quite get as many votes as I was hoping for in that first run. But given the circumstances, actually, I think I, I did pretty darn well. I got a lot more votes than a lot of independents, and uh, you know, actually uh, got a lot of people to raise their eyebrows at least and, and say, oh, you aren't just some blogger who's running on a lark. You're actually trying, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. and reaching people and doing things right and whatever. And yeah, right. imagine if you had a little bit more help, like, say, from a party, you know, <laughs> so, and so then that kind of changed my thinking a little bit too, so. Right. So running as an independent, there's, sort of, there's no infrastructure behind you <laughs> no to, to support you. No, and in fact, you know, it's, humans naturally label, okay? I mean, it, it's, it's something we do to make quick flight or flight decisions. You know, I have to characterize you and figure out what are you going to do to me. You mm -hmm. know, and it's a natural thing. It's part of, you know, our whole limbic system, whatever. We have, you know, these complicated brains. Um, and so, yeah, on the one hand, it's great to, to be philosophical and say, I am an independent. And, you know, I would like to see more independents run, and I'd like to see more, of, you know, breaking of sort of the duopoly and, and so forth anyway. But the fact of the matter is, you know, it's like, you know the joke when you, when you sign your name to your SAT, you immediately get a 200? You know, it's sort of like you know, if you have a D next to your name or an R next to your name or even a P next to your name, there's a certain premium of votes you get mm -hmm. because people now know more or less what you're about. Right. Whereas I got a lot of questions like, oh, you're an independent. I like independents. What kind are you? Yeah. Are you a Tea Party or independent, or are you, you know? So I had to do a lot more of that explaining. And when you would have to explain something in politics, you've already lost in a sense, right, you know. Right. Um, so it was a it was a good experience, and I had a lot of good response. But clearly, you know, being a Democrat has just that part first of all going for me that a label uh, would be good. Um, and you know, the Republicans didn't court me, so just, I don't know why <laughs> exactly. But um, but also, uh, it, it means there's a lot more infrastructure there, and there's a lot more people that you're already connected to, and so it can help. And I, I'm glad I did it this way. I don't think I would have done it any other way, even looking back. Um, and, you know, quite frankly, I don't think I would have been accepted by, as anything other than a lark by people in the party unless I already showed that I mm -hmm. could do it all by myself, right. what, what I did do. You know, right. well, I shouldn't say all by myself. I had lots of friends and family and so forth. Uh, you know, sure. My biggest campaign asset was my son since I brought him everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you had to do a... a, a and the amount of legwork that a candidate with a, a party behind. Exactly. I had no built-in. Well, I, actually, that's not true. In a sense, I did have a built-in donor base because I'd been blogging for so long, and people had already been used to kind of giving me money for some of my activism, mm -hmm. you know, that I was able to actually go to that well with very little of right. the donor base that most parties have. So, so it did help me in that regard, yeah. You're, you're making me uh, realize that the blogosphere is wide open. People are reading it all over the place. That when you run for something, you have to think geographically. Yes. Like the, the towns are <laughs> Fletcher. Fletcher, Fairfield, and St. Albans Town, yeah. And uh, yeah, I probably didn't reach a whole lot of people there through Facebook. Right. <laughs> Especially right. in Fletcher at Fairfield, where we just barely have some places where there's broadband. You know? that's, the meet, that's the meet and greet that's going to events that's creating events. Exactly, and, yeah, you know, which was fun. I really enjoyed the traditional stuff yeah. more than the electronic. Electronic's more my bailiwick, but because you know, I teach about it and I've lived immersed in it, but I had a lot of fun going to suppers and going out to you know, uh, community meetings and just knocking on doors and talking to people. Right. It was a great time. That's